2023 is the year we decided to stop wastage and extravagance, instead opting to live within our means. We decided to cut expenditure by up to 400 billion shillings, so as to reduce our borrowing. We decided to enhance our tax revenues by Kenya shillings 600 billion to fund our programs and development so as to safeguard our sovereignty and independence. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we certainly cannot be independent if we are enslaved by monumental debt, as has been the case. We take pride in the strides we've made as a nation. We have triumphed over the threat of economic stagnation and are now in secure space with regard to our sovereign debt obligations. Inflation has reduced to 6.8% and our GDP is growing at a rate of 5.4%, placing Kenya as the 29th fastest growing economy in the world. In 2023, we decided to get rid of consumption subsidies that not only drove our nation into deeper financial distress, but were also unsustainable, opaque, and only benefited middlemen at the expense of those who truly deserved support. Instead, we deliberately redirected our focus to support production through incentives in our crops, livestock, and fisheries programs. Today, with a blessing of good weather, thanks to God, these interventions have enabled us increase our food productivity by 40% at a fraction of the previous cost. Working with farmers, our foremost patriots, we shall double our efforts in 2024 until we reduce our Kenya shillings 500 billion food import bill to zero and rid our country of the shame of hunger. In 2023, we decided that growing our economy as has been the case in the past was not enough. Change was an inevitable imperative. As such, we rolled out an economic growth model intentionally designed to be inclusive deliberately expanding opportunities and creating jobs, millions of jobs, all types of jobs, construction jobs, technical jobs, digital jobs, as well as entrepreneurial opportunities, both locally and abroad. <clears throat> 